Thanks, Ben. It's been nearly two months since 19 children and two teachers were killed inside an elementary school classroom. The act of violence and the police response or lack thereof sparking outrage across the Uvalde, Texas community and the nation. In a few days, Uvalde school board is expected to announce the termination of its police chief, Pete Arredondo. He's been on leave since June 22nd. The fallout from the shooting at the elementary school in Uvalde has 8 News taking action tonight, digging into the security features and practices in place in schools here in Central Virginia. 8 News reporter Olivia Jakewood joins us live in studio tonight. Olivia has been working to find out how safety measures in schools measure up to what we see in local government buildings. Olivia, what have you found? Yeah, well, Deanna, in the wake of school shootings and other tragedies across the country, we have to ask the question, what is being done to keep students safe? I've been visiting government and school school buildings throughout the greater Richmond area to find out what security measures are in place and who is most protected. Restricted access, walk through metal detectors, armed security and several surveillance cameras. A fortress of safety measures that come standard at Richmond City Hall, protecting the adults who work inside. But what's being done in the schools to protect our children? Here's former police chief Mike Jones. With the light of all the events, both schools and government facilities and private facilities are taking a new look at an old problem. With four decades of law enforcement experience, he now serves as a security consultant in several localities throughout Central Virginia. Increases have quadrupled in the last three weeks. The, the school system have, has the very basic minimums, locked doors, vestibules that have access card control, as well as visitors sign in and out. With all these protections at City Hall, Richmond Public Schools may look a bit different. The buildings are always supposed to be locked with a single point of entry featuring a doorbell and security camera. Metal detectors only in place at the high schools. Meanwhile, in Chesterfield County, the school board received a June update to security happening throughout the division. It includes access control equipment like card readers in all schools. Camera systems are already in place at each of Chesterfield's middle and high schools with the elementary school's installation set to wrap this month. And new this summer, Chesterfield is installing secure entryways in its middle and high schools. Government usually has a protective force that's very professional. Schools do. Well, most school security forces in the summertime are very, very low. In a statement to 8 News, a CCPS spokesperson highlighted the installation of electronic locking systems in all schools. But over at the county government complex, not all doors were locked during the day. Like the schools, there are card readers and surveillance cameras in place, but the school board administration office seemed to be a bit more challenging to access, requiring visitors to speak to someone on the inside through a call box. Most of us are not trained in dealing with an active shooter. So the more automated equipment we get that doesn't have the emotional aspect, the quicker we can concentrate on what we need to do. In Henrico County, a spokesperson said they are not able to discuss security measures, but a visit to the Western Government Center revealed security cameras and call boxes, with more features centered around the law enforcement part of the complex. And in the schools, especially middle and high, you'll find cameras and buzz-in systems and school resource officers. In Hanover County, several cameras could be seen outside government buildings, but a spokesperson says they are not actively monitored. Over at Atlee High School, though, we only spotted one camera, but the school division says they do have active monitoring capabilities. Donna Michaelis with a state security agency says it's up to individual school boards to ensure compliance. While we don't have numbers of cameras, and, and of course cameras and security plays a role in that, but it's really relationships that make the difference, and that's where, again, Virginia is leading the way. They're required to complete this checklist every three years, laying out best practices for landscape and security cameras. Even though there has been national news and, and it seems like every other day we hear about a gun or on school campus, schools are still an extremely safe place to be. Now it is worth noting that Virginia law doesn't actually give the state power to make sure schools are in compliance with the minimum, but Donna Michaelis tells me that that's never been an issue with many schools now stepping up even more to create digital maps for law enforcement access. More information on that on our website, WRIC.com. But for now, live in the studio, Olivia Jake with 8 News.